the Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. We meditate so we can develop good qualities in the mind. Of course, we don't try to develop them only while we're sitting here with our eyes closed. Ideally, we should be developing them all day long. But when you're quiet like this, when you have the opportunity not to be disturbed by other things, have no other responsibilities right now, that's when you can look into the more subtle areas of the mind that need to be developed. The way the mind talks to itself. So try to talk yourself into settling down with the breath and see what happens. Part of the mind will cooperate and part of the mind will not. So you learn have to have to learn how to negotiate with that other part. Create a little space for yourself right now. Remind yourself this is your chance for the mind to look after itself. It's taking on responsibilities all day long. Here's a time to set its other responsibilities aside. Just look at what you've got right here when the mind is on its own. Because there will come other times in life when the mind will be on its own like this, when you're ill, when you're dying. There will be a lot of things you have to put aside, and you're just there with yourself. So is the conversation inside good or is it bad? Try to develop good voices inside to remind yourself that whatever you do, you want to make sure that what you do and say and think is skillful, is helpful, leads to long-term welfare and happiness. And if you're holding on to anything that's going to get in the way, you've got to learn how to let it go. And that way the mind becomes its own best friend, rather than working at cross-purposes with its happiness, its true happiness. Because every part of the mind wants happiness, it's just that all the different parts have different ideas about what true happiness will be. So you've got to educate the ignorant ones and strengthen the wise ones, the members of the committee inside. That's what's meant by developing. It's not just a matter of being still, but it's a matter of being still with wisdom, with discernment. To understand what will destroy the mind's stillness and be able to clear that away. And what even in the stillness is a still a seed for further disturbances. Learn how to clear those away as well. So take some time to be still, to develop the properties of right effort, right concentration, right mindfulness on the more subtle areas of the mind. Because that's where everything begins. Everything begins small in the mind and then grows larger. And the things you want to have grow larger. The skillful qualities of the mind, those require some care. As for the other habits, the things that grow larger easily, you want to learn how to say no, how to weaken those parts of the mind. Because all too, all too often the easy things are the things that are going to be unskillful down the line. So you develop good qualities in the mind so that you can talk to yourself inside and have good conversations. Conversations that lead to true happiness, lead to true understanding. It all begins with simple processes like this, staying with the breath. Learn how to run the conversation around the breath so that it really is helpful and does create concentration, does create an opportunity for the mind to be discerning. That's the kind of mind you want.